Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about how we can get started with data tables. Now the data tables of choice or the data tables plugins of choice is datatables.net. The reason why we're using datatables.net is because it's one of the best data table solutions out there. And from one of our products that we'll be using is um, the Rider HTML free, the free version of Rider. And however, this video is applicable to all of our products within key themes. So regardless whether it's a free version or the pro version, it doesn't matter. But this video will basically showcase to you on how you can implement or integrate a data table into your project using any of our products. So to get started, first you can just download Rider. Just go ahead and click this link and just download it for free. And it should look something like this. And now what you can do is First, we can open up um, Rider, go to the Teams, and go to Dist, and go to Index. And you can see Rider running right here. And first thing we need to do is go to Documentation. Now in the documentation, we have a Build option here. Click on the Gulp, because uh, you can build in either Gulp or Webpack. But for this example, we'll be using Gulp. And all you need to do here is just follow the Quick Start basically just follow the steps one two three four and so on however if you already done some of this you don't have to repeat it for example if you already have npm installed you don't have to reinstall npm i've already done all these steps but what i need to do now is to create to run a rider on my localhost environment so let's go ahead and open rider on my ide i'm using vs code or visual studio code and let's open up my terminal and then we need to of course navigate to our tools folder so let's go ahead to uh, team tools and then here we're going to run the command that we sh we saw which is gulp localhost and my our localhost is now running just click on that and you can see is run now running on my localhost environment. It's exactly the same as the index. It's because let's go to the index here to show to show you guys. You can see it's exactly the same, but instead of running from the HTML file directly, we are now running on our localhost environment. Now let's go back to our documentation so that we can keep it open. All right. So now the next thing that we need to do here to integrate or to create a data table is we first need to create a blank page where we can put the data table. So to do that, let's go back into our editor and create a new page. So we can create a new page maybe in general. Let's create a new file called datatable.html. And what we're gonna do is we need to copy the entire layout of another page and then just remove the content within it. So an example is we're going to copy the about us page so to to do that let's go into our editor and copy the content so we want to remove all this like all this stuff here so let's go find so we are minimizing the side because we're not going to touch that we're not going to touch the header and this is the content here and yep it starts right here so this is the about content we have stats and sections and other team sections and whatnot. So if you scroll down, we can see like the statistics, some cards, some teams, and some social media stuff. So we're removing all of that and go ahead and save this page. So once you save this page, you can actually go into your local host environment and type in data tables, which is the page. Um, this page is still um, pointing to about us simply because we did not change any titles or anything like that. Now you can do that in your projects, uh, you're free to do so. All you need to do is you just need to go into the header and look for the about us and then change it to whatever the page, your page uh, needs to be. So let's minimize all this again. Minimize this and yep here. So this is where we want to put our data table. Now in our documentation, we have a lot of few examples of how to implement a data table so to do to find that you can just go to our documentation file scroll down to general and you can see there are tables right here 
So this is the overview. You can have a read on uh, how to implement it and, and initialize it. And also we have references to the official site and the GitHub repo. Uh, however, what we want to see is the uh, basic configuration. So in this basic configuration, we have we want to implement this tab data table with zero configuration. So we have a sample HTML code here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to copy all this. Copy that and put it into our HTML file. Like so. So format that and that should be it. So let's minimize our aside and header again. So this is our head, our body. We have one, two, three rows and then a footer. And that's it. So let's save this and look into our local host and refresh. Now we have our basic HTML table. So it's still HTML table because there's no like functionality or logic behind it. So now what we need to do is to add our JavaScript. So if you look into our examples, our documentation, we can we have a JavaScript tab here and we have a simple JavaScript line that initializes the data table. So first we need to create our JS file. So let's go to our source, go to JS and it depends. Now we can just place this JavaScript file anywhere we want, but we uh, for, for this example, I'm just going to put it under our general folder and let's create a new file called data table. All right. And what we're going to do here is we, we, we just need to put the JavaScript file here and let's copy this like so. And it should just work when we run. So the next thing we need to do is we need to build our assets because we added a new file within our JS and it's not it's not deployed or built into our assets folder yet. So let's go ahead and do that. We need to create a new terminal because the, the previous terminal is being used for our local host environment. So let's navigate back to our tools folder and run gulp. All right, it's done. Let's go ahead and refresh our page. Okay, let's refresh. As you can see, our data tables is still not working because we missed the step. Step that we need to add is, if you recall, if you go back to our documentation and if you go to our overview, we actually need to include these two files. Basically, we need to include the CSS and JS bundles for datatable.net. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's copy that and go here and just put it right after our main styles bundle or global bundles. and Let's copy our JS bundle, go all the way to the bottom, and then put it here. And the last thing we need to do is we need to add this uh, data table.js into this page. So let's go ahead and copy this, delete the widgets. But what we're going to do is we're going to add a folder called general data table. Simply because if you look at our paths here, we have assets and then we have js custom general so it's js custom and then general and then data table dot js so this is what's happening so we save that uh, go back to our page and do a quick refresh as you can see it's now all working uh, is even has but we, we have a pagination here but we only have one page simply because we do not have enough data to basically have a second page. Now let's go ahead and duplicate our our table data by just copying these three rows and just pasting it multiple times just for example. And let's do a quick refresh. As you can see everything is now working and we even have our pagination working. Okay that's it for this video. I hope you found this video informative. Please give us a like if you did. And please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so the next time we release a new video, you get an update. Please follow us on our social medias and uh, links will be in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.